What is going on everybody? Welcome to the video. I have spent a lot of time breaking records though they've been a lot more Guinness induced rather than Guinness endorsed. Today I'm gonna to be pushing my body's limits in a more wholesome way and I'm gonna to try to break as many world records as humanly possible. I'm hoping for, you know, at least one. What do you think, Kofi? Uh, well, we'll see, you'll do great. I have faith in you, yeah. I have always been known as a record breaker ever since my college days. I enjoyed those times, but I'm just hoping today involves a little less rug burn. So the first two we are going for today involve some powdered jam filled donuts. So the first attempt is going to be um, the most jam donuts eaten in one minute, which is actually six without licking your lips. And this was achieved by Jesse Freeman in Australia back in 2018. My strategy going into this one is just to, you know, open wide and let it slide. I feel pretty confident. Donuts are familiar to me. I'm just hoping the jam can go down like I know other creams can. Now, this record is not necessarily hard by the amount of donuts you got to eat in one minute. It's actually from licking your lips. And there's actual scientific reason for that. And a multi-sensory expert says, our lips are really sensitive. So when we eat a donut and the sugar gets around our mouths, the brain reacts quickly. Sugar absorbs the natural moisture on our lips. And this means our natural instinct is to immediately lick them. Time to show why there's 10 in Tennyson. So I think I'm gonna get 10 here. You can all have a drink between, and you have to open your mouth between each donut. So it's kind of like power lifting. I feel like I'm gonna forget that. You like with the rack cue, go to open cue. Three, two. Whoa. Done. Oh. I feel that's about two and a half. Oh my God, my eyes are watering. That's a hard swallow, man. But I had no need to lick my lips, which is kind of weird. I had no need to lick my lips. I was just looking up task at hand there. Went in too hard, too heavy at the very beginning. When I see the white powder, I just, I just, I'm just in the mood to inhale. Um, Jesse may have me at speed, but I'll fly him down anytime. Challenge me in volume. Anytime, Jesse. If you're watching this, anytime. The next world record we're gonna go for is the fastest time to eat a jam donut without hands and without licking your lips, which is 11.41 seconds, and it was achieved by Philip Joseph uh, in San Francisco. So the donut to be a regulation donut has to be six centimeters across, and it has to be room temperature, it can't be heated, and again, the time stops when you open your mouth. Yeah, we are literally at nine centimeters by, we're nine by 10 right now. So this is quite a lot bigger than the regulation donut. Definitely learn from my mistakes from the last attempt. Sometimes you gotta put your hands behind your back and just go in, be fearless. Although the Japanese alphabet's not gonna help me this time. So we can have the donut standing upright. It has to be at a table or a desk, hands behind your back, so it's a true test of tongue dexterity and you got to open your mouth to show that we're done ready timer mm -hmm. three two one go. oh my god i'm choking i'm at oh i thought i had it that's actually pretty good that's pretty good 21 seconds for a donut the no water is just, that's what kills you. Okay, so time to give our stomachs a bit of a rest and now we are in the home gym and we're gonna go for some workout world records. So the first one we're gonna do is easily the hardest one, which is a 200 pound plank for the longest amount of time, which is four minutes and 50 seconds and it was achieved by uh, Silim Boushaba in France. So not the first time I've had 200 pounds on my back. So I think I do have a little bit of experience for this, but I don't have a pack, so we have to use all of these plates, practically an entire home gym on my back, which is gonna be a little bit um, harder. Uh, we'll see if it's four minutes and 50 seconds. Hopefully it's not drug testing, because that's the only way I can keep it up for that long. But we will see. This is a great introductory into training abs. There might be a donut medley on the floor very soon. Okay. Oh. 
What is that? 23 seconds. <laughs> oh my god. It's way different when it's a person. Ow. My body is wrecked. My lower back is destroyed. My quads are pumped. Whenever I have 200 pounds on my back, time always seems to just stop. And I was definitely eagerly waiting to finish. This is Katie's nipple tape. The next workout challenge we're gonna attempt is the most side-to-side -side hops in 30 seconds, which is 103 and was achieved by Christian Saba in Italy. Vittoria does not seem very confident in my abilities here, but I'm just gonna channel my inner energizer bunny. So I'm just not gonna focus on counting. We're gonna rewatch the tape after and see what I get. Three, two, one, go. I don't even know, I already have my, my quads are burning. I feel good, no idea what I got. We're gonna watch the tape and see. After reviewing the tape, I got 88 total hops. The record was 103, so only 15 off, which I'm super happy with, probably the closest I'm gonna be the entire day. You know, as I was doing it, going from left to right started to feel the same, but some people are just meant to go both ways. Exercise challenge number three is gonna be the most diamond push-ups in one minute by a male, which is 96, and achieved by Hong Zong Tao in China on April 24th, 2021. Oh my God, this is range of motion. Done. 66. That's pretty good, 60. Oh my god, I'm cramping. Ah! I'm gonna take my shirt off and see this. Oh. Can you see that? Ah! Okay. Ah. I need a second. I don't really know what to say here. I mean, I'm getting my ass kicked all day long. 66 reps. I'm pretty happy with that. 66, 67 reps. Hong's just a beast. There must be something in the water in China for sure. It all comes down to just not being able to keep it up for long enough. That rest killed me. The fourth and final workout challenge is a squat challenge. So I thought it was a minute. Turns out it's three minutes. So who can do the most air squats in three minutes by a male, which is 206, achieved by Ali Munir in Egypt. And he's a multiple record holder, so this guy's a beast. Uh, three minutes of squatting. Rest in peace, my kneecaps. I'm just trying to figure out a way I can maintain as much balance as possible. Maybe I should go in reverse. Ready? In three, two, one. I don't remember playing Halo 2 online. my chest right now. I'm just not keeping track. I was just channeling my inner halo. I was just trying to like, <laughs> the BR is brutal. So we're gonna watch the tape back and see what I get. So I watched the tape back and I got 156 reps. So 50 reps off the record. I thought going into it was gonna be one minute. Turns out it was three minutes. So that kind of threw me off a bit. This one was all about stamina. I thought the book club boys helped me prepare for this one over the past couple of months, but clearly they just weren't going for long enough. Okay, so now for the next few challenges, we're gonna do some fun ones here. I don't know how fun this might be. I might need some rotator cuff surgery after it. It's gonna be the most t-shirts put on in 30 seconds, which is actually 17, which is ridiculous. Achieved by Levy Dane and Nathan Anderson. They tied both in the USA. So I have 18 shirts, including this one. And there must be a massive technique component to this. I just laid them out thinking that's the best option. Three, two. The turning took more and more into crop tops. So. Stop. How many was that? That felt pretty good. I know. 
hoping one, you weren't pulling them down. Do you have to? I don't well, one, I think so. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. I got six in 30 seconds. That was all about finding the hole. Can I try it? So Victoria's gonna attempt it. It's a little bit unfair. Like, right. Because you're smaller. It's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. These shirts are way big, way too big for you. Got me down a little. Three, two, one, go. There you go. Oh, there's a you got some technique. Find the hole. There you go. <laughs> I can't find it. Here. Find it. Here. We're gonna be you, I'm gonna be you or no. Five, no. four, three, two, one, time. <laughs> what was that? Is that your stick you're putting on? No, it's my seven. Oh, seven in 30 seconds. How does somebody get- Well, I didn't really get 17 seven. 17 in 30 seconds. Like they must be like, would be like, like flying like, through them like that. Oh, well, that's my workout for the day. There you go, you're out of breath. You're out of breath. Well, the older sis bested me by one t-shirt. It is what it is. I feel like clothing, Records seem a lot easier than they actually are. It took me a lot of practice to eventually get the most zippers undone. What looks to be the holy grail about a year ago or my high school bedroom is actually 30 rolls of toilet paper. So the next world record we are going for is the tallest toilet paper tower in 30 seconds, which is 28, achieved by Silvio Saba from Italy. Another Saba from Italy, just a genetically blessed family. So it's not a pyramid, it's one at a time stacked all the way up which sounds insanely hard, because even stacking just five of these, it does not seem very sturdy. So I'm setting them up right now, and we're gonna start piling them up here. Three second countdown, okay? Here we go, three, two, one. Ah! No! Three, two, one, done. What goes up must come down. Unless you have toilet paper Cialis, like Mr. Saba. The most amount of medium burgers eaten in one minute is four by Mr. Furious Pete. And today, we're gonna beat it. Or at least we're gonna try to. So right now, I am weighing up some four ounce patties. And then as per the guidelines, it says the patties have to fit exactly onto a bun, so these look to be good. And you get one condiment. To be successful in this challenge, I think you gotta be very careful with the condiment that you pick. So the entire cooking process I was contemplating, you know, what condiment to use? Uh, the Canadian in me wants to use maple syrup, but I've had a lot of recent success with Greek yogurt, but I might just have to stick to my roots and use some mustard. So for this challenge, you can only use one hand for the burger and you get one hand for water. I'm just thankful to get water and don't have to resort to spit or tears. Uh, so like I just said, we've got some mustard on here. Uh, we've got one minute. You gotta open your mouth between each one to show that it's all gone. Sounds like my audition tapes. Three, two, one. Well, I mean, I was halfway. Yeah, you're almost That's there. That's pretty good. Oh, that was surprisingly, actually not surprising you get the water. That was a lot easier than the donuts. The donuts were horrendous. Way harder to get down. Three, two, one, go. Mm. You beat me by hair, though. You did well, man. <sighs> you know, once I took that first bite and I took a peek and I realized it was cooked all the way through and I wasn't gonna get mad cow, I immediately just realized I shouldn't have used extra lean ground beef and I should have opted for a fattier kind of meat. It just slides down way easier. All right, so I talked a really big game and I thought I was gonna be able to at least match the four total burger, but that first burger was scorching hot right off the grill and it kind of stifled things a bit because it's really hard to swallow things that hot. But you know what, with some practice, I'm pretty sure I can get that in my mouth. 
today has been, you know, a bunch of L's to say the least. And the last one we're gonna attempt right now is something that I actually think that I can beat. And that is the fastest to drink a Capri Sun. So I can't find them anywhere, but we're gonna use a Kool-Aid jammer and it's the exact same measurement in the same pouch, everything like that. So the person to do it, I was 14.3 seconds and was achieved by Andre Ortolf in Germany. Three, two, one. Did I actually beat a world record? What? I actually did. There you go. I actually beat a world record. What? I beat a world record. Yes, I did. Hey, I'm hey. proud of you. Yeah! Balbo sucking. I broke a world record. No, I, I, drank, a, I drank a Kool Aid jam or the fastest in the world. I beat it by a couple seconds. You proud of me? Aim a little higher. Okay. As you can probably tell, I've got a little bit of a, a pep to my step right now. I feel I feel great. I mean, I, I did what I set out to do. Um, going into that, my strategy was just to suck, 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 and then by the end, I do what a lot of people love that I do is that little twist at the end just to finish it off. So it was great. I got one, and I'm ecstatic. Okay, so I am gonna wrap up the video here. You know, we tried a bunch of world records. And some people are crazy talented at the weirdest things and that is so cool. That's what makes you who you are. Try them out. If you fail, it's totally okay. Don't take life so seriously. So if you try them out, let me know in the comments down below what you guys get. Very curious. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.